This is Dante Williams. Are you watching? Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. This is Showtime Sean Porter. Filipino Flash. Jesse Burgess. This is Al Bernstein. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. I'm sure we're right in chick shape. Search over the last name, Morgan. Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from the Wilder. My name is Gennady Golovkin. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, this is Julian Jackson, and this is Dante Boxing Nation. This is Julian Jackson, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man, well, this is a cool surprise. So as I was doing my Andre Ward Alex, um, Alexander Brand video, my man Virgil Hunter, he just called me up right now. So what's good with you, man? What's good, Virgil? Oh, I'm doing fine. Just I thought that you uh, called me and asked me to call, so I was just returning your call. Absolutely. I, I hit you. I sent you a text earlier, man. I appreciate you hitting me back, man. So, um, yeah, man. No problem. I, I want to get your thoughts, man. What, what's your thoughts on Alexander Brand as an opponent? Uh, do you know anything about Brand? Not much, but, I mean, look. I mean, he was, uh, you know, props to him. He was the one that uh, took the fight. I mean, we couldn't... He was not the first choice by a long shot. I mean, uh, Cleverly, uh, Scott, and all these guys, they just either went way ridiculous with the money or they just didn't want to fight. I mean, that's been a problem. So, uh, thank goodness Brand uh, was willing to um, take the fight, uh, but he was not our first choice. I, I uh, first someone like Nathan Cleverly or uh, Eric Scoggin, who was undefeated, Cleverly being a former uh, world champion. Um, you know, it, there's not many choices out there, as you know. And um, uh, let's see, it was another thing. Who else? You said it was Cleverly, it was Doglin, and it was... Now, Scotland's situation was he wanted to fight, but then when we brought Vada up, they backed out of the fight. So I thought that was interesting. Wait, wait, who, who was it? What's his full name? Eric Scotland, uh, over in uh, Germany, I think, 26. Uh, he, uh, he, he was going to take the fight. Everything was set to go. But when we uh, told him that Vada, you know, the drug testing would be involved, they... He, he backed out of the fight. Wow. Uh, that was interesting. That is very and, interesting. Um, it's almost, yeah. So, I don't know why, but uh, that's for them to figure out. But um, the rest of, you know, priced themselves out or just didn't want the fight. So, it's, you know, we did want a fight. So, um, not the fight that we preferred, but that's not a knock on brand. Uh, but we wanted to try to get a fight, you know, with someone who was quite rangy and, and uh, you know, presented a different style. But um, I don't think Andre really needs to, um, it's, you know, explain too much why it turned out that way. I mean, he came out the door to speak number one. So um, that's that's what was there. So that, that's what we have to go with to get the fight. And Brad, by no means, is being underestimated or, or disrespected. He's being given the utmost attention and detail. So um, that's where we're at with it. Man, I'm glad you cleared it up. So you cleared up the misconception that you know how the fans, they always try to perceive it as, I don't know why they do it, but you know, Ward, he's just trying to look for the easiest opponent. When you think of the fact that Ward, he jumped up to a higher weight class, he fought the number one contender, and now, He's going to fight Alexander Brand, and then after that, he's going to fight Sergey Kovalev. I mean, how many fighters are are doing something like that all in one year? Not too many, right? Well, I mean, I would, yeah, I mean, I would have to agree with you if you look at his resume. I mean, even when he was uh, injured before, he came out of the garage and fought the number one contender, who was Edwin Rodriguez. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. At 168, you know, uh, when we came back and fought uh, Paul Smith, we couldn't get anyone to fight. And that's what uh, people don't know. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to step up to fight. I mean, they, everybody turned the fight down. I can go down the list. There's no sense in doing it, but that's 
that's that's the story. Mm-hmm. Nobody wanted to fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and so, now now Alexander Brand, I'm told he's a super middleweight. So I mean, uh, what do you guys think about that? It was that I mean I know a lot of people turn down the fight, but some people are be under the impression that this won't help Ward to fight against a light heavyweight. What's your thoughts on that? Well, you know, thank goodness, you know, the, the, the people who make these types of statements and things like that, thank goodness that, you know, they're just on one end of it looking, you know, one side of it looking in. And they they just become experts on what you ought to do, you know. But the thing is if you're not ready to fight uh, Sergey Kovalev, now you'll never be ready to fight him. So, um, it's it's no different. Uh, well, I'll, I'll put Brand's resume up against some of the last the champions uh, competition that they've been fighting. Um, if you look at who Brand is for, you see. Uh, but again, it's it's uh, it's a it's a matter of finding somebody who wants to fight, and we looked for those guys and we petitioned those guys and. They didn't want to fight. You just can't make someone fight. Um, of course, I believe the styles are much different. But then Andre doesn't have a style himself. So it um, it sort of uh, makes it a little better. He doesn't have one particular way he fights. Mm-hmm. So um, that's, that's what we have to do. But I don't think he has to apologize to anyone, particularly if you look at his competition in his career and uh if you look at everybody else's i mean he fought for the title with 19 fights you know he fought uh uh nickel kessler with 19 fights he fought miranda when he was miranda with mm-hmm. 16 or 17 fights i believe now if you look at some of the other guys as resume they find out who they fought and from their 16 to their 19 fight you won't even recognize the names mm-hmm. so I don't think he has to apologize um, at all. If you look at not only these guys, they became champions again after he fought them. Mm-hmm. So um, it's um, it's just the way it is. You have to accept it, and you just have to keep going. It's and um, yeah, it, it, uh, I don't believe any fight gets you ready for anybody. Uh, either you have the ability at that moment. Or you don't. Yeah. I mean, and we've seen Sergey Kovalev. He fought John Pascal twice. Now he's fighting Isaac Chalimba compared to you guys fighting Barrera. And now Alexander Brand. I don't see, you know, that much of a difference other than you guys actually did fight an undefeated Cuban fighter. Outside of that, it's not a big difference, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was the number one contender. So yeah. um, to come out of the garage and fight him, and, you know, of course, we're used to people slighting the opponent after we fight him. I mean, he was Paul Smith that gave Abraham all he wanted. It was debatable had he lost that first fight. He lost the second one, but it was debatable if he lost the first one. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, you couldn't get anything with that, and we hadn't even fought in over a year. So it is. It's it's not going to uh, uh, work out uh, in our favor at all in terms of fan popularity. We understand that, so we just keep going. Yeah, um, as um, we understand that. now now um, Brand he does have a good record. Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, has he ever been stopped? That I don't know. Okay. Um, uh, you know, focusing in. On, on him um, pretty soon um, but he's there and um, he's formidable this is boxing um, you know if anybody wants to be an expert in boxing uh, they ridiculed Fontera mm. you, you said uh, what you said being ridiculed he was being Fontera was being his choice of an opponent um, uh you know, uh, Fonterra, the gentleman just got stopped in the first round. By Joe Smith. Fight. Yeah, by Joe Smith. Yeah, he was beat by Joe Smith. He was being ridiculed mm-hmm. for taking that fight. Yeah. After fighting 
so-called top competition now they felt like he was going down and look what happened and look what happened mm -hmm. yeah yeah and if you listen to the fans that's what can happen to you yeah i mean but 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 do you just feel sometime there's a certain fight out there for whatever reason they just feel for whatever reason andre ward or floyd mayweather or whoever it is they have to do 10 times more than what everyone else is doing instead of them competing with just other fighters it's like they have to compete with themselves and just keep breaking their own record i mean do you feel that way sometime well i mean that's that's the way it is so once you recognize and acknowledge that's the way it is you have a decision to make are you going to let uh, the the these particular voices dictate or from what it is. All you have to do is look at the resume. And when you look at the resumes, no one can name me one fighter that Andre Ward is for. There's not a formidable fighter, a former champ, or been there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, if you look at just from the Super Six on, you're talking about Edison Miranda, Michael Kessler, next, uh, Alan Green when he was Alan Green, Saki Obika when he was Saki Obika, Art Abraham when he was Abraham, Carl Frotch. It it goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, really, it, it's you, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. But of course, there you know there are people who get passes, of course. But that's that's not his fault. And uh, so he shouldn't have to be measured up against uh, what somebody else is doing. Of course, I can stand here and rate certain fighters' competition all day long. Mm -hmm. You know, all day long I can rake it. You know, but what's the point? Yeah. It, it is the way it is. I mean, you can go all the way back to... Jack Johnson. <laughs> you know, even Jack Johnson. You go all the way back to Ali. I mean, you know, like Ali used to say, you beat in, you duck in this guy. You beat him, you're ducking that guy, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it it never stops the demands that are uh, put on uh, put on us. So of course, it doesn't stop. It's the way it is. And, you know, um, we've never um, not wanted to fight the best. That's why we saw the fight uh, with Gennady Golovkin. And that didn't come by. Um, so... When we uh, had to go to light heavyweight, of course, we go to light heavyweight. Sergey Kovalev is the best light heavyweight in the world. Yeah. So we 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 want to fight him. Yeah. So that's um that's that's our desire. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best, and he's the best mm -hmm. at light heavy. At this point, where he's considered the best, I have a lot of respect for Donna Stevenson also. But um, at this time, uh, I think, you know, the, the masses would say that uh, Kovalev is the one. Mm -hmm. you, you, you just, yeah. and, and something else I was going to say, um, Virgil, is uh, regardless of the double standards outside of the ring, the best thing is once you get in that ring, that's the truth machine. You can't take away the success. Once that fighter gets in the ring, right? You can't do it. You can't do it at all. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's like, I, you know, I tell Andre all the time, you know, uh, maybe you won't be a superstar. You'll just beat superstars. So it's, um, it's the way it is sometimes. That's the way the world works. And, you know, again, I can sit here till I'm blue in the face and, and rake the competition of, uh, of um, you know, who, who some of the other guys have fought and who's being appointed into this position without ever really proving themselves. And, you know, and then the excuses say, well, don't nobody want to fight them. You know, well, uh, we have the same dilemma. Mm -hmm. The people, they don't want to fight him and he don't want to fight us. So what's the difference? Y yeah. Yeah, no. but we didn't say there's nobody out there we don't want to fight. So what's the difference? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't recall mm -hmm. people lining up to call out Andre Ward. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, you have it's just, you know, boxing is that business. You know, I, I felt that you know Canelo got a pass. Oh,
Grow up, man, when you're young, you want everybody to like you. You want everybody to write positive about you. It's not going to happen. It's okay. still love me, Tim. It's okay. I know guys that be in the same meeting room in this room right here that don't like me. It's okay. It's okay. Still going to speak. Still going to speak. Still going to shake your head. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Keep hoping, keep pushing in and just stay focused. It's gonna work out. If what God got for you, that's for you. And you're not gonna get anywhere with significance when I was in my position. That's right. That's just life, man. Right. I'm done preaching, y'all. I'm out. <laughs> Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.